Hey everyone, my name is Mirai and welcome to what we're calling like an intermediary third video. Uh, look, here, um, this is like a crash course. All right, listen, story time, two, two stories. First story is that your boy Mirai has to go on a trip. And while I knew it was coming, didn't realize it was coming so fast. And uh, there's a joke to be had there. But regardless, this is the real deal. And I'm going on a small hiatus for a little bit. Those of you who subscribe for this channel for a long time, you're like, what else is new? Ha <laughs> ha, funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry about those. Um, anyway, the third video were the, like the dungeon stuff and all that cool shit and all the hype, you know, the billboards and all the commercials y'all have been seeing. Uh, it's on hold for right now. And so uh, we're just going to do a quick crash course because I felt, again, here we go with this me feeling bad, felt it was a little unfair to just kind of end it, kind of put it on hold here without giving you some, some, at least some, a small serving of meat and potatoes for you to sink your fork into. All right? All right, there you go. You can thank my guilt, okay? You're welcome. Anyway, second funny story. Uh, this video might be slightly enhanced because a... Um, kind of a ragged looking individual. Uh, he sold me a barrel of this syrupy beverage. And uh, I think his name, I think his name was Morgan. He claimed to have a boat. I didn't see a boat anywhere. He said, I got a ship. And I was like, I don't see a ship, dude. He's like, it's in the shop. They don't, what's a ship shop? There's no ship shops. So um, he sold me this barrel, right? I put the, put the glass down, but he sold me this barrel and it's very aged and the only there's only some branding on the side of it that, that has like a it's like a w and and a lowercase n and then what looks to be like a backwards k i can't make it out really but i mean that's kind of what i see on the side of it other than that it's completely free of any markings but again a guy named morgan claims ownership and he says this is apple cider but I'm not sure there's apples in there. I've been tasting this for the last hour. I'm not sure there's apples in there. So, but that does make me feel a little warm inside. So that might enhance this video a little bit. So with that said, folks, let's, uh, let's get this going here. This is a, uh, look, Hey, come before we get in game, check this out. So I got a Druid's v VFX, um, character set here. And what I did, well, I'm, I, I was on the right, but anyway, we made a copy of the Paladins VFX. You've seen me do this before with copy and character sets and shit. Nothing really changed here, folks. We made a <laughs> copy of the Paladins VFX character set. I went ahead and I changed the startups. I went ahead and I set a key map white and blacklist to keep the others out of there, right? And then I went ahead and I dragged and dropped my characters into the slots. If you're like, gosh, Mirai, you're speeding through this. Look, man, we already did this in the past seven hours of video footage. Just go watch those seven hours, man. <clears throat> this one, we are going to be just like blowing through some shit. And I don't even know if it's going to be right because I have not had any time to test it. We whipped this up in like 15 minutes earlier today. So there may be some problems after you implement some of this. You're like, yeah, this looks amazing. And then you implement it and it's like, wait, hmm, there's something wrong with this. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be here. All right. I'll be on the forum in the discord though. So you can, uh, you can complain to me there. But we got a, a Druid's video effects thingamajig character set uh, with, the, with the window layout, right? So we have enhanced. We are in the video effects form factor. Uh, so yeah, with that said, let's just jump in game. Let, let us do this quickly. <laughs> this is a crash course slash power level like for reals. We're in game. Repeater off. Key maps on. Shift alt I. Hold. Release. There it is. Hmm. So I don't think that worked. Like I, I, I did put that little note uh, at the end of the previous video where it didn't work on the Paladins. And I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't cycle through my windows. Sometimes they, the windows do get in, kind of stuck in a weird state when they first launch or after you export. And so you may find that they kind of sit in this weird limbo spot where they're not like actually in foreground and they're not actually in background. And sometimes because the click static pop-up one button one macro would have been sent to all without current. But it wasn't until I cycled through the until I clicked through the windows, right? You saw me click through the windows, and then I used the, the the key press and release one more time, and then it worked. So you just need to make sure you cycle through the windows. It's been a kind of an issue for a while. Yeah. Anyway, what are we doing here? We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, healing. Fuck. We're gonna do some healing. So you need. Uh, 
You need click. Did I show that? I didn't show that, did I? Add-ons. Click. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. We're out of there. You need click. If you don't know how to use click, I'm sorry. I'll show you real fast. If it's not, if it's too fast, there's got to be like 4,117 videos on YouTube and written guides as well across Google that show how click works and how to better utilize it. All right. This is not a click tutorial. Please learn how to use click to its fullest. If you want to be a master click user. Anyway, click is open. Great. I've cleared everything out of here. You're going to have some bullshit in here. Right click on it. Delete the bindings if you want to. I have done so. You don't have to, but I have done so. Nature's cure. We're going to do a little um, mouse wheel up on that. You can just mouse over stuff. You can just mouse over stuff and use your bindings and it just automatically adds it here and cool stuff like that, right? Instant. Uh, I don't want to do too many spells because I can't remember what to do here. Shift, left click. Sounds good. So we got three spells. We're in resto spec. That means now, now, when I mouse over a frame... I can mouse wheel down. <laughs> okay, let's unbind. Let's let's kill that binding in the druid's character in the key map here. Boom. We don't have anything else in here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's kill that too. All right, so we just kill that temporarily. You're gonna have to just figure out what you want to do with all that. Please export. Thank you. <laughs> so now, okay. Here, let's just do this again in case we got some problems. So now, when I mouse wheel down, she will. Just use it over on Kaina, right? And I just mouse wheel down here. She's going to use it on Shadra. Or that's Shadra. Sorry, Shadra. They all look the same. <clears throat> so then I mouse wheel up. Miranda, she's going to do the thingy on herself. And then Versailles, she's going to swirly her. And then shift left click is, of course, just, you know, on the frames. I can just boom. I can just throw out a bunch of regrowth. Redruve. Sorry, that's redruve. Druid players. I know my druid healing icons. Just a small mistake. And so it's like, well, that's cool, Mirai, but how in the how in the F word do I do this on my healer? Well, uh, duh, you just switch over to whatever character is your healer and then you just heal, right? All right, that's bad. All right, so that's kind of limited. Um, are there any different ways to do this? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. So one popular way that has emerged, I need, I need some more of my cider. <clears throat> I do. This stuff is delicious. Oh. One popular way to heal that has since emerged from the grave once again, known as repeater regions. Let me show you. Did I actually set everything up I wanted to do? I think so. We're on repeater regions. I got some notes over here, but man, they are badly written. Let's just uh, do this. Okay. So repeater regions have emerged from the grave once again. These things I thought were dead. We haven't been using repeater regions for a very long time, but you know what? People are like, hey, look at this cool feature of Ice Boxer. And it's like, yeah, man, repeater regions, cool. Uh, they're really basic. I mean, it's fine. Let's just learn about repeater regions, right? Because it's like, again. So we're going to open up the in-game GUI. If you don't remember that, you're going to have to watch the last seven hours of footage, man. We changed it in there. It's in your character set. All right, Control-Shift-Alt-G for you standard fools. And then Control-Accent-Mark for me because I switched it. Anyway, repeater regions. Well, let me get, actually, let me get into a spot where I can zoom in here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Is this good? Yeah. Just making sure where I'm going to zoom in because I got to kind of like, I got to be the future editor as well as the person doing this right now. So repeater regions, right? Um, first of all, okay. Yeah, this is kind of, we'll set this up real kind of lame first and then we'll fix it. Um, actually, hmm. Yeah. Okay, fine. We'll just do it this way. So we'll just call this like, um, I don't know. Let's just call this, I get to call this something stupid for a moment. So, um, healer, healer healing. Yep. Healer healing. And then in the target dropdown, we've got like slot numbers. You've got all other, which is all without current. I taught you that like in a previous video. And then we've got like some action target groups down here. So whatnot. So some of the popular, Choices here, you're just hard coding this to your healer window, which would be slot five, right? And then you hit add, and then you get this thing here. That's a region. That's a repeater region, son. And then what's, what people are doing, they're doing this, right? And then they're like, okay, cool. And then what happens is you close the UI, you realize that now, as you see in the upper window, the mouse is, is all over the place. It's very frantic. It's not, it's not really, I know the mouse cursor is a little difficult to see. That happens with video effects, um, video effects layouts, but it is what it is. So there you go. You can still see it. If you look really hard, you can see it just kind of 
It's not over the frames, right? So you got to come back in here. You got to hit sync. Boom. Just like that. And now, now, now it's over the frames. You'll have to trust me. Maybe we can kind of zoom in. It's still going to look like ass though, even if I zoom in. So there you go, right? And now with those click bindings in place, hold on, we can come back here. Block from current window. Shit. Is it, <laughs> is that going to work? <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to work right now. So if we just mouse wheel down. All right. So I, I forgot to click block from current window. It doesn't matter. We'll fix this in a moment. So you can see that now both of them are do it. Damn it. Does this work? This doesn't work. Shit. <sighs> so let's kill this. Healer healing three. All right, let's try this again, folks. I don't want to show you bad ways to do this. So we'll just hard code this to five again. Block from current window. Jesus Lord. Add. Put it where you want. Cool. And then we're done. And hit sync and we're back in business, right? And now we've blocked it from the current window. So now my lead character, my window current is not healing, right? Just my healer, which is presumably, they're all in the same fucking spec. You just have to pretend that the fifth window is the healer, okay? Just, just pretend, okay? Just pretend with me. So she's healing and that's, she's in the fifth window. Great, there's my healer, we're good to go. Some people have complained that with the repeater region in place, it's kind of in the way. Well, check this out, man. Big Brain Mirai. If you just put it over only part of your frames, then it only affects part of your frames. And you could still use these frames normally then. And I can do a kind of, I can do a Miranda's heal and I can do a Versalia heal. Just like that, right? But we can kick this up a notch, boys and girls. We can kick this up a notch. Of course we can, because Mirai's got to just kick everything up to 11. We're going to get rid of this garbo right here because I don't want that. So um, we got to come back into ice boxer for a moment. We got to make some action target groups, right click, new action target group. Oh my God, this stuff is delicious. So we're going to call this H1. <laughs> call it whatever the hell you want. With the action target groups, you're clicking, holding, and dragging characters into these action target groups with them selected. You saw me do this on the DX Nothing window when we did the VFX layout in the previous video. So we are, uh, we're going to take... Versalia and put her in H1. We're going to make another action target group. We're going to call this one H2. We're going to put our middle three druids in here. Shadra, Kaina, Teldara. Likewise, you can click on these characters. Click on action target group and put them in there as well if you want to do it this way. Just like this. Click. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> So now everyone who I want is in, you can double check assignments here. Versalia is in one and the middle three characters, presumably my DPS characters who might have some off heels, right? That's the way I like to think about this. We've got H1 and H2. We will, are we exporting? I don't know. My notes are terrible. Just bear with me, folks. We're exporting. We're back in game. Great. Now I don't know. Sometimes the repeater, sometimes the in-game GUI is a little screwy. So let me see this real fast. Hmm. How do we get this to show up? That is the, that is the, there we go. Okay. So if the in-game GUI is open, you got to close it and reopen it and it will refresh the, um, target dropdown in there. So anyway, we're going to make, um, let's call this healer. Let's call this H1. So we're going to go H1 and in the target dropdown, I said we had a character that we put into H1, right? Very snazzy. So now we've got an H1 target, which is our ATG, which is only the characters in the ATG. We're going to block it from the current window. Is that a good idea? Probably. I don't know. I don't know if that affects you. This is the problem. I don't know if that affects, like, if you're playing from the fifth window, if that also affects her, um, like, inadvertently this way. We'll just do it this way, though, but whatever. Um, and then we'll add. We'll add this. We've got H1 now. Look at that title up there. It even tells us what it is. So as you struggle to resize this, because this is difficult to do, um, don't mind if you hear that behind me, if you can hear that over the air conditioner, that is the spin cycle. We're doing some laundry because did I say that I had to, I had to go on a trip? I have to go on a trip here very shortly. That's why we're hurrying through this, right? So we got H1 here. Cool. We'll hit sync. We'll close out of this. And now, boom, it's still Versalia. Why? Because we put Versalia in H1. Funny how that works, isn't it? Let's kick it up a notch. We're going to kick this bitch up to 12. Actually, we're not even at 11 yet. So we'll call this H2. I bet you can tell what we're doing here. Are we gonna, what, what target are we going to set? We're going to set We're gonna set H2 as the target. We're going we're gonna to add that. 
We have another little one, another little window. What can we do here? People are like, I can't use repeater regions because I've got, because I've got um, multiple healer groups. And I'm like, mate, 200 IQ, man. Look at that. We got two, two columns now. <laughs> and we just sink that bad boy. And now we get out of there. And now watch this. Watch this. We got that first one, which only affects... Get up, get up, Jesus. We got that first one. It only affects her. And we got this other one, which affects the other three. Unless I messed this up somewhere. So let's let's heal Mirandus with the other three characters. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And you can make as many columns as you want. I think. I don't know. You probably run out of things to do with them, but there you go, folks. There you go. You're done. You're done, right? Well, some people, you know, the problem now lies is when you, you come into your interface and you want to use things, you want to interact with things that are kind of in, on, you know, underneath or on top of these, or I guess it is technically underneath these repeater regions. You can't really click on them. Again, we run into that problem that we had with the, with the click bars that I showed. What did I show in the click bars? We made a toggle. So surprise, we're going to make a toggle. We're going to go into our key maps over here. Let's just close this for now. And uh, we might as well do this in always on because uh, new map key. We're going to do like repeater region toggle. We're going to set this to alt one because I don't have it bound anywhere else, I don't think. We're going to come in here. And now what I've taught you from actions, let me just have another step here. If I've taught you anything from this actions list, what is it? It's that you should look at it just look at it. We're using a repeater region. We want to know if there are any actions, because I'm going to do you a solid, because this shit is pretty hidden, okay? Are there any actions that look, just maybe kind of just resemble in the slightest what the repeater action might be under? I'll give you a moment. It's a long list. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit, a repeater region action. Let's look at this. There's two settings, load and remove. This is amazing. I am very happy. However, there's a problem here. Hold on, let's get back in game. What we didn't do was we didn't save this. So you can save this as auto if you want, and that will automatically load it. Or you can save this as something else in case you've got multiple repeater region sets that you want to have maybe for your party. Maybe you got one for a raid setup. Maybe you got one for a focus setup. Maybe you got, except just to be fair, you can't load multiple sets at the same time. When you save things through the in-game GUI, you can only load one set. So if you've got multiple configurations, you're going to have to have all of them like, and you want them like combined. Like if you throw in, like if you've got this setup right here, but you don't want the focus, Sorry, classic players. You don't want the focus um, repeater region up? Well, then you need to have a configuration layout that looks like this with that, and then one that looks like it with the focus. You can't just add on the focus to what's loaded here, right? Anyway, call this like, I don't know. I was messing with this, and I don't want to create the same. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just do this. Um, healing. Healing, healing RR, healing RR. We'll just call this healing RR. We're going to save that as healing RR. And again, because it was not saved as auto, it will not automatically load when you launch the character set. Now, to be fair, I don't know if this works across multiple character sets because technically when you save things in the in-game GUI, it literally only saves it for that character set. So just keep that in mind that this may not work if you try to load this on a different character set or the same character set, but with a different name. So that might be a limitation. I didn't test it. And we don't have time for that. There's no time for that. Anyway, what do we call it? We call it healing RR. So we're not going to, right? We're not loading it automatically. We're going to load the region set named healing RR. And I, and I imagine you guys can figure out what step two is going to be in this convoluted list of options. It's going to be remove all regions. So we're going to toggle it on and we're going to toggle it off. That's right. People are like, I don't like, I don't like this, Mirai. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> 
So we'll do that and hopefully we've set this up correctly. I don't know if we need to reload. So now when I hit Alt-1, it should actually load it. It's already loaded. You can see that the, the, the different color here, there's a slight shade, very low opacity, slight uh, color variation here over our frames. But if I hit Alt-1, it should load it. And then I hit Alt-1 again, it should unload it. Just like that, kids. And now this isn't here anymore, right? Because I could just click in here freely. We reload it with Alt-1, boom, our regions are back. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Repeater region actions. Who would have thought that those were buried in there? I know, I know. Very, very cryptic, very, very difficult to work with. Now, so let's just throw this out. We're going to throw this out. What, are we, what else are we doing? I think we're good on repeater regions. People are like, I'm done. You're done if you're done. You're good. Heal with repeater regions. Um, again, those are, I don't believe they work across character sets. You would have to go into the scripts folder and look at the, I don't even know what they're called in there. There's files that are written in there. XML files that are specific to either the characters and or the character set that this is, that they that are contained in here or either the entire character set as a whole. You'd have to, if you want to use that on a different character set without IS Boxer or Interspace Loaded, I think, you would need to go in there and rename those files, make copies of them. And you can also, if this, whoops, that's not it. If this just kind of looks like dirty and you're like, I'd like to clean this up a little bit because this is kind of wonky. We obviously can't dial in the, the X and the Y. We can't dial in the size, right? We can't dial in the width and the height specifically. But you can, if you go into the scripts folder, find the specific file that deals with this, uh, these repeater regions, and you can edit the XML and you can change them to be like exact, you know, uh, width and heights that you want and you can pretty them up, but you have to go into the XML. For some people that's scary, um, but it's not that scary. Anyway, with our video effects layout, we can also use video effects. So let's check this out over on our healer window. We're going to open up, we're going to open this up. We're going to go come over to the video effects tab, right? We're going to make a source. It doesn't really matter. We're not actually going to do this in the in-game GUI, but the in-game GUI provides some feedback for us to use once we go back into IS Boxer. So check this out. Uh, source, I don't really care. Um, it doesn't matter one bit. We just want the editor up here, go away. And we want this. So we want to create a source around this bad boy. We need to just kind of feel this out. Some people will want to do this in the in-game GUI. Again, it falls with the same limitations as before that um, uh, you can't use it across character sets. Now, you can technically import, I think, on the import tab. I don't know. I've never imported, man. I do all of my stuff in IS Boxer so that, you know what, when you created it in IS Boxer, it doesn't matter whether you created it on the Druids, whether you created it on the Paladins, because it's there and it works across all of your character sets. Whatever targets you set is where it's going to show up. So anyway, we're going to set this. When we click on it, some people make the mistake. They resize this. Now watch this. Watch the width and the height here, right? I'm going to pull this out. The width and the height didn't change, right? Until you click on it again, and then it changes. Some people, right, I get it. It's not like instant feedback. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not in charge of the program. So anyway, people will click over here, then they'll hit apply without re-clicking on the source and they'll hit apply and then it goes wide again because it's still got like old values, right? So anyway, you pull this in, click on the thing, and then you've got some values to work with. So we've got a left, we've got a top, we've got a width and a height. Cool story. We're going to pull this over here, I guess, because when we zoom in and we work with what's in IS Boxer, we're going to want to see that. Can you see that? You should be able to. I'm pretty sure you can see that. So we're going to make some video effects stuff. We're going to call this, um, let me look at my notes real fast. Yeah, that's, that's all we've got. So we're going to call this, uh, let's just steal Alt-1 for this. I'm going to take it off of my toggle here. So, uh, healing, we'll just call this a toggle again. I think you know it's coming. Uh, check this out. When we look at the actions, we're going to use a video effects action, unsurprisingly. Uh, where are we setting this? Well, on this particular character, we do want to go to slot five. This doesn't really matter. I understand that we can change the target. It doesn't, 
you have to understand that these are just, it doesn't matter who is listed here in the slot. This is literally just hard coding it to slot five in this point. However, we do have Versalia in our H1 ATG. So we'll just set this to all of H1. We only have one character in H1. If we had more than one character in H1, it would create this in more than one window, which would perhaps break it. So just keep that in mind if you're using an action target group. Otherwise, we would just hard code it to slot five. Or again, IS5 is what you can type in. You can do all that. Uh, we'll just show all of H1. We will create a source and we'll call this um, VFX healing. The position, what are these numbers? They're right here. They're right here. Thank you, in-game GUI. 579, I'm just going off what it says. If you want to fine tune this and tweak it, well, that is outside of the, we are not fine tuning shit in this one. 191, that is not 191. 191 by 417. And that's our source. And on top of that, we're going to copy action. We're going to paste action. We're going to create our viewer, wherever you want to see it, is um, okay. Well, we can spice this up a little bit. So we can go all and not H1, and that'll be everyone other than who is in H1, because you can't create a source and a viewer with the same name on the same window. Doesn't work. Plus, there's no point to create a viewer on the character's window who we're healing from because you can already see what you want to see. So we'll just do that. Or you could just simply, again, if you're playing from slot one, if you're tanking from slot one, set it to slot one or type IS1. We saw me do this in the previous, uh, actually, yeah, we, we did see this on the uh, round robin example. So anyway, I'm going to do an all and not H1. And so we're going to create a viewer. Do, 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 not that. Nope. Viewer, same position. Same size, include mouse pass through. We'll get to the keyboard section and all, oh, fuck it. We'll just enable it now. And keyboard, cool, right? Then, well, step two, we can use another video effects action. And, and we can do all with current. That's fine. If you just want to remove it on everybody. Actually, we will come back in here and we will, because um, all includes our DX nothing window. Good catch, Mirai. All, this is complicated. And, uh, oh, all, oh, that's not right. All and not H1 <laughs> and DX nothing. Is that complicated? <laughs> if you just want to put it on your, again, if you just want to put it on the one slot that you're playing from, you could just simply put it on slot one. But we're going to keep it on this complicated, um, Action target group, or uh, yeah, well, complicated advanced target that we hope works fine. God, I, I need some more of that stuff, but we're totally out. I drank the whole barrel. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Um, so that should work well. Let's hope. Let's see how this works. So we will uh, we'll export that if it will ever export. Cool story. We're going to close that. Close that. Okay. And now... If I did everything correctly, we should create the source in her window, call it VFX Healing. And of course, the viewers with the same name that connects them together. If you're confused how to use video effects, perhaps you should check out one of the video effects basics videos, which pretty much talks about all of this stuff here. Again, this is a crash course, folks. Um, so I'm gonna hit Alt-1, and we're gonna hope this works. That's because we're sharing Alt-1, aren't we? Are we? Why do they all go away? Did I break this? let's just let's just hard code this to slot one for a moment maybe maybe my uh maybe my fancy target is not all it's shaped up to be so this is all of h1 create the source and this is the viewer yeah this is this is looking bueno man this looks fine but we did just break shit so let's re-export that okay cool story and one more drum roll. There it is. Okay. I guess my advanced target was not good. So don't go with the advanced target, but it should be, hmm. Well, I bet it is on the DX nothing window, but it's off the DX nothing window, so it doesn't matter. So anyway, um, here is our, you can see there's a repeated mouse cursor here. And if you look up, if you can see that on the slot five, we can see that my mouse cursor is 
happening uh, over there as well. So if I just mouse wheel down, uh, once again, Versalia is going to get that signal. If I if I shift left click, she will do the rejuve. And of course, if I mouse wheel up, she will do the swirly. Here's the problem that everyone runs into with video effects though, is that when you're in the video effects region, and again, if you don't believe this is here, you just open up the in-game control panel and you can see there's the viewer, come over here, here's the source, magically, right? Now it's not in the right spot, but guess what? If we just toggle it off and toggle it, uh, why does that? Because I fucking set it to all with current. That's too funny. Let me go back in here. That's, that, that's what the problem was. My, um, we are literally turning off all video effects with all with current. So we're gonna do another all and not DX nothing. Someone was like, um, dude, um, dude. <laughs> So my, my advanced target was probably correct. So let's go back to that. We're going to go all and, um, and not. Okay, so the problem was my crazy advanced target here. I guess we'll just stick with all and not H1 because if we're setting it on H1, again, we don't want to create the viewer on H1. H1 is the ATG. Clearly, as I said previously, you could just simply, if you want to create the source on a particular slot, then just hard code it to a slot. If that's, you know, if you, you, there's always going to be slot five, then just put it on slot five. That's totally fine, right? Likewise, if you only ever want to see this from slot one, then just hard code this to slot one. You don't have to have these fancy fucking targets. But I don't need to export. I already tested this. At least I hope so. So there it works. However, when we switch to, to the other windows, it is also here as well, right? So Versalia is still, that's Versalia. She's She's still healing. It doesn't matter what window we're on. The VFX viewer is there. If we open up the in-game GUI, we can see that the viewer is there no matter what window we're on because we create it there, right? So again, we can just shift left click from here. We can just mouse wheel up from here and that's that. So that's very cool, right? That's very cool. And of course, if I didn't screw this up, we toggle it off and then we're back to normal. We can just, we've got... Miranda's healing, and then I hit Alt-1. It comes back. We can see that small change, and now we can see the repeated mouse cursor. Phenomenal. So we can toggle it on and off because as, as, as before, if you just simply open up your anything that needs to be you know in this area, a quest pane, NPC dialogue pane, uh, character, character sheet, um, clearly this sits on top. So hitting Alt-1 will toggle it off and allow us to move our you know, interactive things underneath this. Otherwise, when we toggle it on, this will sit on top. And that sucks, right? So the fancy thing here is that if for some reason we wanted a versatile setup and we came in here and instead of, um, instead of Versalia, we'll take Versalia out. Let's say you're being fancy and you've got... Um, a different setup, you want to change your spec, your role right in game while you're playing, you know, we'll throw Kaina in here instead into H1. I know she's in H2, but we're not using H2 with the video effects stuff. So we'll just put it in H1. And now turn it off, turn it on. And now we should have uh, Kaina's window, Kaina, who is right here. She will be healing instead of Versalia. So that's Versalia. This is Kaina. She should be healing. Mouse wheel down. There you go. Very quick and easy to just move characters in and out of action target groups. So fancy, right? Fancy. Boop. 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 Are we done? Oh, fucking CC. Let's do some CC, folks. All right. So check this out. We're going to come in here. Oh, I didn't talk about the problem that people have with, uh, with the video effects window. Jesus. So the problem is when you're playing here, Watch, like you mouse in and we've got the, we've got the keyboard pass through as well because we've set up shift plus mouse wheel, right? So the problem is when you mouse in here and you move your movement keys, look who moves instead of the window we're on. Kine is moving instead of us, right? People are finding that to be problematic. I don't know why. So what you can do, and this is a very crude fix for this, you can come into one of the hotkeys that gets toggled off and you can simply make, we'll make a divider. You can simply make some mapped keys. This is again, very crude, that deal with just movement. So we'll call this E, we'll sign this to E. We'll set this to hold option on. We'll come in here, keystroke action uh, to E as well. Window current. 
only the window we're playing from. That should work. If it doesn't work, we'll have to hard code it to slot one specifically. So uh, we'll just make some copies of these. E S. If you don't use ESDF, don't set these to ESDF, please, for the love of God. So I'm not sure 100%, my, my notes don't say whether this is uh, window current or IS1 is what it should be set to. So ESD, and again, the hold option needs to be on for movement keys. We will simply just hard code the movement keys to always work on just the main character. Now, of course, we can, we still get around that with our, with our, um, formations and whatnot. That's fine. But, um, when we press the movement keys, even if we turn on repeater, these will be eaten by window current only. So we simply set up our movement keys here for ESDF. Let me just double check. That's all. Yes. Okay. So this should work. And again, if it doesn't, we'll just hard code it to IS one, which is somewhat limiting, but All right, so ESDF work here. Now, does this work here or does it change window current? Okay, so now we're in here, right? And we can we can mouse wheel down, we can mouse wheel up, although space, you may want to do space as well because space still makes her jump. So, but there you go. There you go, right? So I'm moving with my mouse here because ESDF only goes to window current, which is technically still this window. Now, the reason you don't want to put these in always on is because those are standard keyboard keys. If your password contains ESDF and you turn on repeater and that is on, then those movement keys are all in always on, clearly they will not be sent to all of the windows to log in at the same time. So when we turn off, if I just hit, if I just try to type ESDF right now, you can see it in the chat window on that window, we'll turn off repeater. We'll look at each one and they all have nothing there in the chat window. Surprising, not really, right? But with, key maps off, we type ESDF and magically they all have ESDF in their chat box because we can turn that off, right? So do keep that in mind. Do keep that in mind. So there's a way to fix that. Uh, and finally, we're going to do some round robin. So we got a little bit of roots to throw out. We can root these guys. How do we do a little CC round robin? Well, as I had mentioned previously, you want to, um, that's on five. We'll just set this to, we do have an assist T. Let's shut this off real fast. Or let's, let's not shut that off. We'll just do crowd. We'll just, here, roots. Roots, round robin. Okay, cool story. We'll set this to shift T. We'll come in here. I said, I believe I said specifically, you have to recreate the assist in order to give it the proper round, ro round robin target. So we use a named while macro action, not worried about the target, hit the slot ID box, macro sets, assist FTL. What is our, you know, what is our, our target here? Well, we'll make a new action target group. We'll call this crowd control. If you put spaces in your action target groups, sometimes weird things happen. So it does help to not put spaces in them. Underscores work perfectly fine for spaces. Um, we'll just set Shadra, Kaina, Teldar. I know that they're in H2, but pretend that doesn't exist right now. So we'll set these three in crowd control. We'll come into Druids in here. And now we'll set this to all of crowd control because we, I'm sorry, not all of. This should be others in crowd control. This is like an all without current. So... Keep that in mind. Um, if we're playing from a character who is in this ATG, we want it to be others in. If we're not playing from a character who is not in this ATG, it will be all of automatically. Keystroke action. Uh, my roots key is on five. So we will also put this to, this one goes to all of. This one, the, the assist goes to others in. This one goes to all of. Crash course, folks. Crash course. Boom, boom. Round robin. And round robin, cool story, just like that, just like that. So we export this bad boy. Shift T is now going to send five as a key remap. Did I hit shift? There we go. Okay. So now when I have this and I hit shift T, do they have? Yes. Okay. Sh shift T, one of them. Click this. Shift T, the next one. 
click this, shift T, the next one. We've got three targets rooted. Super simple, super simple. That's all I've got, folks. That's all I've got. So um, I've got some laundry to do and I got to pack. So, uh, and I got to edit this and upload this. So hopefully this will be out on time. If not, no, it will be out on time because it's not that long, right? It's not that long. So we're good to go. And uh, that's that. And uh, happy holidays. And um, yeah, that's all. That's all I got. My name's Mariah. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Um, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that might be.